As ignition technology advances, so does the need for a precise, yet user-friendly way to test these ignition systems. Our universal ignition tester from MSD can do just that. Not only will you be able to test single channel, as well as coil per cylinder ignition systems, with just this one tester, you can perform battery diagnostics, check your cam sync output signal, change the dwell and duty cycle of a device, or test for a distributor signal. One of the features I like the most is the RPM run mode. This allows you to simulate an actual quarter mile pass. It lets you verify the operation of your RPM activated switches and triggers, check your shift points, set rev limiters and shift lights, and even check your tachometer's accuracy. Let me show you just how versatile and easy it is to use. To test an ignition system for Spark, our universal tester offers a few options based on the type of distributor, or more importantly, the type of pickup used in your distributor. If you're testing a points or amplifier type distributor, you'll connect the tester using the white lead. The MSD magnetic pickup style connector with the violet and green wires is used for testing the magnetic trigger input circuit of an MSD ignition. Simply plug the connector from your ignition box into the connector found on the tester. Whenever you're testing and connected to the magnetic pickup connector, the white wire will not be used. If you plan to test the cam sync circuit of one of our programmable ignition systems, you'll need to connect the cam sync input from the ignition box to the tester's pickup connector. This is the connector containing the blue and green wires. Also included with the tester is this power grid adapter lead. It allows you to test the magnetic pickup of a power grid system using the violet and green mag pickup connector found on your tester. Before you connect the tester, make sure that your ignition power is in the off position. To provide power to your tester, you'll have to connect the red power and black ground leads directly to the battery or a constant 12 volt source with a good ground source. Remove the coil wire from the distributor cap and install the load plug that's included with your universal ignition tester. Connect the coil wire to the terminal on the load plug, then use the clip to attach it to a good ground source. Avoid grounding the load plug to the open terminal on your distributor cap though. This can cause excessive carbon tracking inside your cap and even possibly damage the rotor. Make sure that the load plug is well away from any fuel sources. There will be a spark jump in the gap if our ignition system is working properly. Oh, and don't forget, never touch the load plug while we're testing. Then you'll need to connect the appropriate lead based on whichever style of ignition you're testing. You'll find multiple diagrams in the instruction manual that show you just how to connect the tester based on the distributor or crank trigger as well as the type of MSD ignition system that you're using. Turn the vehicle's ignition switch to the on position, but do not start the engine. The tester automatically defaults to the eight cylinder testing operation when it's powered up. To select a crank signal type other than eight cylinders, you'll need to open up the menu screen. To access the menu screen, press and hold the knob for two seconds. To scroll through the menu options, turn the knob in either direction, highlighting the operation, then press down on the knob to open and adjust the settings for that particular menu option. To exit the screen, highlight the back option and press the knob. If we select crank type, you'll find options for a variety of engines, including eight, six, four, and 12 cylinders. There's also an option for a six cylinder odd engine. Scrolling down further, you'll notice options for coil per cylinder engines, like the 58X and 24X LS setups. If you're running a single cylinder engine in your Carter or junior dragster, you can select the 1x option and test the operation of your aftermarket ignition. The 12 minus 1 setting is used to test functions on compatible aftermarket EFI systems and the 35x option allows you to test Ford's Coyote and mod motors that are equipped with aftermarket ECUs as well as Ford's EDIS system with the 36 minus 1 crank wheel. The next option you'll find in the settings menu is the dwell duty cycle. This setting is only used with points output or white wire and allows you to adjust the duty cycle from 10 to 60 degrees. The default setting is preset at 20 degrees since that's the duty cycle that MSD ignitions are designed to operate at. Adjusting the dual setting on your ignition system is an advanced operation and should only be done by a trained individual. Your display's brightness and contrast can be adjusted under the settings tab. Now we get into what I think is the best feature of this tester the RPM run mode. This function lets you set up and simulate a complete quarter mile pass. With the help of this run mode, you can confirm the operation of your ignition system, 
check any RPM activated switches or triggers, verify shift lights, and even set rev limiters without ever leaving your driveway. More advanced users can use the run mode along with their onboard data acquisition systems to simulate and record a run. When the run is complete, simply upload it and play it back to confirm timing, verify RPM retards, and check the operation of any RPM activated component on your vehicle. The universal ignition tester from MSD is a must have for anybody's toolbox, yet it's still small enough that you can carry it around in your pocket at the track. If you'd like to purchase one for yourself or friend, visit us at msdperformance.com.